Hello, hello. Today I want to talk about something a little more heavy. So a friend and I were talking yesterday and we have a mutual friend who's unemployed. And we were talking about how fragile it is, just the circumstance of looking for a job. You know, we're, we're meant to be the providers in our family, especially in Utah. A lot of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you know, the, the, the male is the provider. He's the, he's the breadwinner. So when you're out of a job, it's hard. It's hard to maintain your, your self-worth and your self-esteem in that case. And I was sharing with him that um, when I was running Bike Wagon years ago, maybe I was 30 years old, I wondered how much my self-esteem was tied to the job and the position that I had. So I was a success in the eyes of my family and friends and a lot of people around me. I was a young guy that was running a $5, $10 million company. But I knew that if I were to lose everything, that I may not feel as good about myself. Um, and that made me sad, that uh, I don't want to tie my self-worth to external forces. After I sold my company, I was looking for new opportunities, and even then I felt some of that vulnerability of wanting to be fully engaged in something, and I was relating some of my self-worth to what I was currently working on, and the two should be totally separate. So I would love to hear what you guys have done to, to separate your self-worth from what you're actually doing. Because any of us could lose everything, we could be unemployed, we could we could um, have to start all over, and it would be a real bummer if we weren't, if we, if we let our self-worth um, leave with those things that we, that we lost. So please comment, I'd love to hear what you think. Okay.